So James McCormick with Digging History, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the post-traumatic stress disorder and why we do this metal detecting or farming. Uh, I served in the United States Army for 22 years. My, my history and my record's easy to research and several people have done that. Um, and, and that is good because you never want to just take someone for face value. It's sometimes really good for you to go and see, you know, uh, did this person really serve or this person didn't serve? You know, the whole stolen valor thing has aggravated and made life even more difficult for legitimate veterans that are out there that often want to seek help. Politics has gotten in the way, folks. A lot of nonsense has gotten in the way. At Digging History, all of that crap is not allowed here. As a matter of fact, we don't talk about politics. This is the closest you'll hear me talk about politics out of any presentation that I give because quite frankly, I don't care about politics. I vote every time I do what I'm supposed to do and I vote my conscience, my heart, things that I know, things that I've experienced and things that my family knows that we discuss and we talk about. But when I'm out here dealing with veterans that are, that are struggling, whether it's with the inability to sleep or, or they're not eating properly or their diet ha is shot, you know, we have to work together on these things. You know, excuse me, one second, I had a little bug there, had to get that off. Um, so why metal detecting? Look around. Listen. If you listen real close, you can hear the birds, you can hear the locusts, you can hear every now and then the cars passing by, and you can hear the breeze. But you know what you don't hear? All of the nonsense. And you come out here to find peace. And that's what we do. And in addition to that, we're teaching veterans a skill a skill on how to locate and properly preserve artifacts for the preservation of history. What cooler thing is that? I look at this from the angle uh, that I looked at when I served as a leader in the Army. No soldier to me was ever expendable. Not a one. My theory was bring them all home. And we worked and we did that with our units to the best of our ability. Unfortunately, some people have paid the ultimate price for freedom. And realizing that many of them were my personal friends and the fact that I came back and also dealt with a struggle, a re PTSD, traumatic brain injury, multiple gunshot wounds, you know, the records are out there. But I came back and I struggled, and I was alone many times, struggling. Or at least I thought I was. I was very fortunate um, that I met my wife, Heather McCormick, who was Heather Tucker from Spencer, West Virginia. We met in church in uh, November, uh, I'm sorry, in November of 2005, we were married. And um, been happily married ever since. And life has been beautiful. There has been struggles, there's been challenges in my life. Um, I, ha I experienced a drinking issue. Uh, you know, I experienced the anger, the frustration, and every now and then you still feel like you get angry at people, especially when they do something to really torque you off. But I've learned that people are that way because they have problems as well. So you all that are out there struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder, don't you think for one minute that you're not your life is not valuable. Don't you think for one second that nobody cares because I care and others care and we care enough that we put our entire life into this. Nobody pays me to do digging history. You can do the research on that through the library uh, television network. None of us are paid. We do what we do because we are offering those things that we know to help others and, and enhance education. In my case, I want to help fellow veterans, but I also want to help preserve history and find really cool artifacts and make sure that not just me, I don't just put it in my, my, my little gun cabinet or my case, but I take it and I put it in a place where others can enjoy that same artifact. 
if you feel like you're struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder, you feel like you, you're, you're dealing with something and you're afraid to go get help, don't be afraid to get help. I know there's been a lot of things that have happened. Um, you read a lot of things about the VA, the Veterans Administration, uh, in the paper. Um, there was a recent article that came out about a veteran um, that had his records stolen and he was running for office and they tried to use his, his disability records against him. Now, if anyone did not vote for that man based on that information, then you know we are still a long way as a society from identifying and properly helping those with post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, but those that did that, that are obviously uh, veterans or are associated with the Veterans Administration, understand that they don't represent the majority of the veterans in the Veterans Administration or the employees, the wonderful employees. I spent a year and a half going through polytrauma at the Huntington VA Medical Center. Uh, I was taught how to think differently, how to, to speak differently. Uh, my body was, was racked with a lot of pain. There were a lot of things in my life that I still have a difficult time talking about today. But these folks took me in for a year and a half and helped me to regain my life. And the one thing that I've never let go of is the ability to be humble enough and thankful enough to thank those that have done that for me. So at Digging History, we want to take you out digging. We want to teach you how to do metal detecting. And if you want to talk about your military service while you're out here under these trees or under this sky where nobody else is going to know about it but you and me and God, then that's fine. But if not, and all you want to do is come out here and enjoy the breeze and learn to live life again, that's okay too. Because that's what we do at Digging History. If you really want to drill down what it is that we do with this television show and with, with the Veterans to Agriculture program that I started back in 2009 with uh, Raising Cane Farms Ministry, um, that's what we do. We just want to help veterans to find their purpose in life again and to get back on their feet and to realize that we've all been there. You see, I was an officer, so it's not just exclusive to enlisted personnel that deal with post-traumatic stress. It can affect every level, and there's nothing to be ashamed of for asking for help for any issue that you're facing. Look, folks, don't let one or two really rotten apples in the bunch spoil the whole bunch. It's obvious there are issues with the system, but there's issues with every medical system. So don't hold this against the VA medical, uh, uh, the VA administration or their medical services because I'm telling you folks, there's some great people that work there and they love you and they care about you and they will help you. There's unfortunately a few bad ones. It's our job as veterans to vet them out and to identify them and report them. That's why you have the inspector general and that's what we had to do on a couple of cases, but it all works out in the end. We have to stick together. Digging history is more than just digging history. It's about rebuilding our lives. So God bless you, and let's get to digging.